Hello and welcome. This is your maintenance and repair technician here at Sebal Test Systems. Today we're going to talk about the 90S Fusion Splicer and try some loose buffer splicing. If you're not aware that you're working with loose buffer fiber, your splicer might fail several times during the fiber positioning process with motor overrun or other error types shown here. A loose buffer fiber has no protective material around the acrylate coating. You can see that once you've stripped the 250 micron coating and look closely when tugging it gently. The fiber is loose inside its 900 micron jacket. With older Fujikura splicers, you would need a pair of special fiber holders to deal with this kind of fiber. Luckily, with the 90S splicer, we can go ahead and push in a special protrusion on the clamp base, which pinches the 900 micron jacket against the fiber and holds it in place while the splicer motors are moving in to do their work. So as we push in that little protrusion, it will lift a small plate which once clamped will pinch the 900 micron buffer to the loose fiber inside. This will help secure the fiber during the splicing process so the fiber doesn't move around during the fiber positioning stages of your splice. You can do the same on the right clamp if you're working with two loose buffer fibers, but in my case here, I've got a tight buffered fiber on the right side, so I won't need to adjust that clamp. Another thing I'm going to adjust before I prepare my fibers is the way in which this splicer behaves once it has successfully fused my two fiber strands. I want to avoid the fibers from ejecting too quickly from the clamps, so I'll show you how to make some adjustments to make your life easier. You'll notice on the top of each clamp a set of switches which release or lock the fiber retention clamps. In my case, I'm going to unlock them so the fibers stay in place after a splice. Another thing you can do is change the sheath clamp operation mode located in the splice settings of your 90S menu. You can set this setting to manual if you simply want to keep the fiber clamped after a splice. So with our splicer prepped, we're now ready to load in our fibers. I'll start with the loose buffer fiber. And then on the right hand side, I'll load in my tight buffer fiber, hit set, and away we go. And now we see a nice result. So we're going to remove those fibers by lifting those two clamp arms, and that will free up the fiber. We'll slide our protective sleeve over the gap, place it into the oven for shrinkage. And here is the finished product. Once again, this has been your maintenance and repair technician at Saint-Bal Test Systems, wishing you a safe and happy workday.